I'm calling upon the EACC to send their officers to Campbell County to investigate the massive corruption and looting that is happening in the county. The county government, in its looting mission, headed by the governor, in its stealing mission, it has tasked 15 officers, whom I have their names. These 15 officers are collecting Kenya shillings each 300,000, three times a week, from the finance department and from the roads and transport department. They're given this money in cash, and they deposit some to their pocket, 30%, they eat that. Then 70%, they give the governor and his chief officers. And this is the money that is being used to pay young men and women who are jobless to cause chaos whenever uh, the president is around, whenever we are having meetings. And if you multiply how many weeks Governor Matangi has been there as a governor, multiply by 300,000 per parcel, three times a week, we are talking about hundreds of millions, millions that is going to his pocket. Today, the governor has reverted to traditional ways of doing things. One, as I say, he's doing the manual payroll. That's where they steal the money. And you know manual payrolls are prone to abuse. That is a loophole for stealing. And that is what exactly is happening. In the year 2022-2023 and up to today, the county has paid through manual payroll over 392 million Kenya shillings. That is the amount that has been paid. To who? That is the question. The governor, through unlawful and illegal means, has employed over 200 people against the law. They are calling them the last officers, who have now been tasked to collect revenue. They are collecting this revenue manually. And when they collect this revenue manually, not every amount is being taken to the account. I'm calling upon the EACC to not wait any longer. Because if you wait any longer, then I believe Campbell County is going to lose billions of shillings. I also call upon the governor of Campbell, Kimanu Matang, to stop lying to the people. And if we cannot, at least don't lie in church. Don't lie in front of the people who voted for you. Don't lie even before the president. Campbell County has now been ranked the worst county to do business in when it comes to government contracts. That the governor has only paid 4% of the pending bills. Yet, on numerous occasions, he has said that he has cleared all the bills. And people out there, the contractors are suffering. In the year 2022-2023, at the closure of that financial year, the governor had 5.2 billion shillings of pending bills. And instead of paying that amount, he actually returned about 2 billion to the national treasury without, instead of paying uh, 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 those pending bills. Today, as we speak, and I have the report of the Auditor General here, and I will read for you. Um, that is the first quarter of 2023-2024. So we are talking about June, July, August, and September. The county government had a pending bill of 5.62 billion as of that year, September 2023, despite having a bank balance of 1.14 billion in the CRF. That means there is money, but the governor is not paying. As I conclude, and as EACC prepares to get into Campbell County, it's good to know this is not politics. This is the work I was mandated to do by the people of Kiambu when I was voted for as the senator and going in line with section with Article 96 of the Constitution that gives the senator the power to protect the interests of a county and to oversight the governor because we cannot wait. We cannot wait any longer to see the governor looting our money and in return, he's giving us handouts, giving our people handouts 
in the names of chicks and fish so that our people can keep quiet. But as I said here, it's not going to be business as usual for the governor of Kiambu. It's time now you stop lying. It's time you start working for the people. And it's time you put everything in pen and paper because you are coming for that information and you are coming for that, for the documents. Thank you. Anyway.